Hello everyone. In this exercise we'll do some basic operations to look at the tables and the data tables that we have. So we will be doing an open navigation of data tables, selecting and sorting items in the table and create new variables in the table. So for those of you who have seen my previous video on creating a Carplath map you might remember that one of the problems in the Carplath map was that we were actually not looking at rates. Um, in this video, we will be creating a new variable that looks at the rates for SID. So we will use the same data set we used before. So just click on Open Shapefile, choose SIDS, Sets, Shape, and it's opened. Once it's open, what we will simply do is we will look at a table. To look at the table, you go to the third button in on your uh, Geoda menu and press open table. So you can have all information on a different data set. And one of the things that you might notice is that we have, in fact, for SID and birth, S birth 74 and non white bird 74 always the total count so necessarily to have a better idea what is going on over the um, area you should be able to calculate density first thing we will do however is simply select a couple of counties and to do any selection you just have to right click on your layer view and choose selection shape it will use a circle as a selection shape and as you drag your mouse pointer along you're selecting different different um, areas and we will just select a couple of counties here like this and once we've selected these if we would go back to our open table you would realize that the selected counties would be highlighted. One of the things that you can also do is sort that for easier visualization of the location of the selected variables. To do this, you simply have to go to your option table. In table, by the way, you'll find all the different choices you have to play around with the table view and that's the menu interface that we'll be using more often in this um, tutorial so we just go to table and in table we simply click on the option we've got here showing move selected to top and when we do that just go up in your table and your selection is simply neatly put on the top. So once we've done this, we can simply now say that we want to, you know, clear the selection. So we can either clear the selection here, or we could also double click on your map canvas. Now, while selecting tables is not particularly useful, calculation of new fields is. So what we will do is simply we are going to look at the calculation of um, SID rates for 74 and to do this we will simply create first a new variable. To create a new variable we will just go again to table choose add variable and we will give it a variable name. So just let's call this SIDR474. And we'll keep the type as real. We can choose where we want to insert it for. So we'll, we'll insert it before our variable area. Um, and we'll keep the length of it, decimal, display decimals as is. And we just click Add. Right. Once we've done this, we'll simply now start our calculation. 
So to calculate the values in this table, we just go to table again. And remember in table we have all our different um, table operations that we can do. Here we didn't go to variable calculation. And in variable calculations we have different choices. But I want you guys to use at this instance the bivariate which allows you to do several calculations such as adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing and putting the values on variables to the power up. So we will just choose the resulting variable as our SIDR. You will notice that here the statement of the calculation shows up. We will choose then the variable that we are interested in making the rate for. Uh, the variable obviously is in this case going to be SID 74 and we simply choose to divide this value by the variable or constant, in this case the constant of 100,000. So when we do this calculation what we have is then a rate for our SID that's for 74. So once we've done this we just click on apply and we just can can simply close this and now we just open it up again here on the table and as you'll notice a new variable just before area has been created which has our SID rates for 74.